Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people. Teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. So yeah, hey y'all Israelites, hey that's a blessing right there. Right. Hey, that's one of the best things you can ever hear. Right. But there's more. That's God is requiring you, brother. Give me the book of Titus, Titus two and one. Brother and sister, you too, my man. But you ain't gonna do it. You the same, cause you already know. Okay, watch this. Titus chapter two and verse one. But speak thou the things which become sound doctrine. Sound doctrine, all right? So now you know you Israel. Now you got to do what? Live by the words of God. Right. Read. That the aged man be sober. That the aged man be sober. That, hey, going into what? Don't be rocking around here drunk, high. Right. And don't be, uh, and don't be going off of different doctrines. Right. Read. Grave. Tempering. Grave and temperate meaning what? Have a serious demeanor about yourself. What? Be able to control your emotions. Right. Read. Sound in faith. Sound in faith. Meaning what? Hey, the way you live your life, everybody should see your amount of faith. What? In, in your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Read. What? In charity. In charity. Be, be charitable with one another. Meaning what? You did calm down so you can let your brother and your sister learn. What? So that was a good attribute, bro. Read. And patient, patient, got to have patience with one another. Right. Read. The aged women, likewise. The aged women, now we're dealing with the sisters. Read. That they be in behavior as they come in holiness. Holiness, read. Not false accuse. Hey, you a, you a sister. So you know sisters are nothing but false accusers. Right. Always running their mouth, always gossiping. That's why sisters hate each other. That's why there can't ever be peaceful conversations amongst each other. Right. Read. Not giving too much wine. Not drunk. Read. Teachers of good things. Teachers of good things. Not taking your daughter out to go fight another sister down the block. Right. Bring it out. Teachers of good things. Read. That they may teach the young women, like yourself, you're a younger woman. Read. To be sober. To be sober. Read. To love their husband. Meaning what? Sister, how old are you? 16 years old, so you're not ready for marriage yet. You got about four more years, according to the scripture, to be of that marriageable age. Read that part again. To love their husband. In this generation, are they teaching marriage anymore, sister? Bring it out. Or are they just teaching uh, you only live once? Uh, what is it? Um, don't, get, don't get tied down. Is that how it's going in today's generation? Kind of. So, that's opposite of what the Bible's saying. Right. That's why we out here. It don't matter if you're 16. You got enough sense to realize what? If the Bible says God is black, Christ is black. If the Bible says I'm an Israelite. If the Bible's telling me not to wear pants. If the Bible's telling me to be sober uh, uh, and get married one day. And the world is telling you to do something else, sister. You have a chance to change your life and make your decision based off of righteousness. Right. You can do that, sis. But it's up to you. Read on. To love their children. To love their children. The black and Hispanic mothers, they don't know how to love their children, man. Bring it out. They hate their children. You know why? Because they got different men up in the house every night. Right. They don't value marriage. How y'all brothers doing? All right? And the reason why is because the men have failed. Bring it out. 
because the black and Hispanic man have failed. We are not standing up in our communities. We are not doing that. We, we be inside and we see evil around us. We're not saying anything about it. Give me Leviticus 5 and 1 real quick. Our people don't know this, man. These are the basics according to the scriptures. That's why we out here, man, to wake our people up and get them back on track and get good with the most high God, your creator. Right. Read it. Leviticus chapter 5 and verse 1. And if a soul sin and hear the word and hear the voice of swearing. Hey, if we hear sin, if we privy of it, read, and is a witness. And if we are witness to this, read, whether he has seen or known of it. Come on. If he do not utter it, then he shall bear his iniquity. You're going to be guilty of the same thing. Right. That's, That's right. why we out here. Hey, give me that in Psalms 94 and 16. Bring it up. That's why we out here. We see the wickedness in our communities. So we go, we coming out to do what? Stand up and preach against it. Because right. if we decided to stay in our houses and not come out here and teach the word of God, we would be just as guilty. Right. Right. Read what you got. Psalm chapter 94 and verse 16. Who will rise up for me? Who will rise up for God? Not yourselves. The black and Hispanic man have become very selfish. Right. Bring it out. God said who's going to rise up for him. I don't know if y'all know, but you owe your life to God. Right. Read it again. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? And who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Against the workers of iniquity. Who knows what it means to repent? Take a shot. Hey, I see I see you got rid of that uh, cross around your neck, sister. Very good. Give a sister a round of applause. All praise for that thing. My brother, what, what it means to... That, what it means to repent? Go ahead, bro. Um, you want to say to stop doing certain things, something like that, people um, ask for forgiveness, and stop doing that's, that's it, man. Uh, Sirach 21 and 1. That's repentance right there. That's the thing, man. A lot of us will say, oh, I'm going to repent. But you, what, you, you back on the block the next day? Right. You understand? You back uh, in a, in a, in a uh, married man's house trying to mess with his wife the right. next day. Right. You understand? That's our people, though. Right. But you absolutely right. Hey, stop and don't do it no more. Read it. The book of Sirach, chapter 21 and verse 1. My son, has thou sinned? Do so no more. You see that? If you have sinned, acknowledge it. Do so no more. Give me uh, James 5 and 16 real quick. Because I got to let y'all know, man, we can't do none of this by ourselves, man. Right. That's why the Bible, it commands us to what? To congregate. Right. The Bible commands us to congregate. Be amongst each other, brothers and sisters, right. women and children. Okay? All together. Right. Because guess what? You may be going through something, but if you ain't got nobody to, uh, to talk to about that thing, that's a hard pill to swallow. So I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you what the Bible say. Watch this. James, chapter 5 and verse 16. Confess your faults one to another. The Bible say confess your faults one to another. Read. And pray one for another. And pray one for another. Come on. That ye may be healed. That you may be what? That ye may be healed. That ye may be healed. Hey, I don't know about y'all. But I can see in my community that there's a lot of broken homes. There's a lot of broken spirits. Give me 2 Thessalonians 1 and 7. Hey, we, I don't, hey, like you said, bro, don't nobody go through what we go through on a daily basis. And with that being said, knowing that we are broken, that we are sorrowful, watch what the Bible says. Watch this. 2 Thessalonians chapter 1 and verse 7. And to you who are troubled, hey, to you that are troubled, to you that are troubled, read. Rest with us. Do what? Rest with us. Hey, come join. Bring it out. Come push the truth. Right. Come help us wake our people up. That's right. That's why we out here, and y'all shouldn't be uh, observers. You, you ain't too young to repent. Right. Bring it out. My brother, you a grown man. You understand what's going on out here. Right. World War Three about to pop off, and we still worried about stunting. Bring it out. You understand? Hey, hey, those missiles, they don't have to have a name on it. <laughs> Whoever it hit, that's who it hit. Now, if you want to get hit 
And in the midst of sin, hey, do your thing. Give me the book of Matthew 10 real quick, 27. But I'm going to tell you right now, I can honestly say, bro, if the missiles come, it's the will of God. And I ain't got nothing to worry about. Because, you know why we ain't got nothing to worry about? Because we're doing the will of our Father. That's right. But I will say, if you ain't doing the will of God, yeah, man, you got a lot of stuff to worry about. Right. And that's why we saying, hey, if you trouble, man, swallow your pride and repent. Uh, Read this. Matthew chapter 10 and verse 27. What I tell you in darkness, that speak ye in light. And what ye hear in the ear, that preach ye upon the housetop. Meaning what, man? A lot of y'all didn't have the understanding that you're an Israelite. That was dark to you. Right. But guess what? Today, God revealed that light. So when you hear this word, go shout it on the rooftops. Right. Don't keep this to yourself, because this is a prized possession. Right. Each one, teach one. Right. Go wake your brothers and sisters up. Read. And fear not. Then do what? And fear not them. Come on. Which kill the body. Hey, I don't know if y'all know, if y'all seen in the news, but yeah, people don't like us because we teach the Bible. Right. Yes. Right. Read it again. And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul. That's what I'm saying, man. This, hey, in these last days, you're going to see a lot. You're going to see a lot that's going to happen in the earth. You understand? But at the end of the day, you shouldn't have to worry if you are keeping God's commandments. Who wants to keep God's commandments out here, man? You want to keep God's... All right, I'm going to show you the, the uh, fourth commandment. Give me that in Exodus 20 and 8. Bring it out. I'm going to show you a commandment that y'all can keep this Sabbath. Who knows when the Sabbath day is? Yes, you know. You know the Sabbath day is, my brother? Have an idea? You heard it was Saturday. What about you? You don't know. Not sure? We're going to show y'all, man. This is very important. The reason why a lot of us don't know for fact, because we ain't never been taught right, man. Right. Read it. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. To keep it holy. Come on. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. It says six days. What's the first day of the week? What's the first day? Sunday. Sunday. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. What's the seventh day? Saturday. Read it again. Six days shalt thou labor. And do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work. In it thou shalt not do any work. Leviticus 23 and 2. So if y'all want to keep God's commandments, you got to keep the Sabbath day. Right. And we're going to show you how to keep the Sabbath day holy. Read it. Leviticus chapter 23 and verse 2. Speak unto the children of Israel. That's who we're speaking to. Right. Notice we ain't out here... Uh, at FSU campus <laughs> with all the Caucasians. Right. We're not out there. They ain't Israelites. Right. No. You understand? Read. And say unto them. Say unto y'all. Read. Concerning the feast of the Lord. Of who? Of the Lord. Of the Lord. Which ye proclaim to be holy convocation. Anybody know what a convocation is? Convocate. I know it's not a common word we use. That's why I always stop and ask. The convocate is a gathering. Right. Convocate is a gathering. Meaning what? You can't keep the Sabbath day by yourself. Right. You can't keep the Sabbath day by yourself. No. You have to convocate or gather. Read it again. Which speak unto the children of Israel and say unto them concerning the feast of the Lord, which ye shall proclaim to be holy convocation. Holy means set apart. Meaning what? God gave that to us. Right. Is that what? Exodus 31 and 16? Yeah. Give me that real quick. God gave us the Sabbath day. But they took it and changed it to Sunday. Right. Y'all see that, man? God gave our God. Not everybody's God, but the Israelites' God. Right. Watch this. Exodus. Chapter 31 and verse 16. Right. Wherefore, the children of Israel, only the children of Israel, nobody else. Read. 
shall keep the Sabbath, to observe the Sabbath throughout their generation. Throughout your generations, meaning what? Say like, go back to your great, great grandfather, his son. His son and his son, then it gets to you. And guess what? Your son and then his son. His son and then his son. Right. Throughout your generations means for how long? Forever. That's right. Read it again. Wherefore, the children of Israel shall keep the Sabbath, to observe the Sabbath throughout their generation for a perpetual covenant. Perpetual, that means forever. Read it is a sign between, it is a what? It is a sign. A what? A sign. What does a sign do? What does that sign do? What does that do? Bring it out. Huh? Give you it gives you information. So check this. If you keep the Sabbath, that is a sign that what? You fear God. Right. That's, right. That's what it is. If you don't keep the Sabbath, that's a sign that what? You hate God. Right. Bring it out. That's what it's saying. It takes, read it again. It is a sign between me and the children of Israel. So if you ain't keeping that right there, you're not a child of God. Right. Bring it out. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.